Hey guys, what's up? It's Regisar here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Play Gink. In the last episode, we decimated the world with our deadly enraged sorrow bacteria, and today we're going to be taking on the world yet again with another one of the plague types. This time we'll be using the virus. A rapidly mutating pathogen, which is extremely hard to control. Now, since it's different from the bacteria, and it is going to be taking a uh, different approach, we are going to have to take a different approach to make sure that we can kill the entire world with it. Uh, for our genetic code, we will be using the metabolic jump. This is going to give us uh, bonus DNA points when we pop the red biohazard bubbles. Uh, we're going to use genetic mimic, which is going to make our plague harder to cure. Uh, we're going to use terasite, which increases chance of plague spreading by land. And uh, we're going to be using herbophile, which will give us a bonus in uh, urban environments. So that'll make our spreading a lot easier. Let's go ahead and start this one on normal as well. And uh, we're going to be nicknaming our virus Pollux. So let's go ahead and start our virus. Now um, I'm going to go ahead and start this one in West Africa, uh, just to give us a bit of a boost. So we've infected our first person, and now I'm actually going to go ahead and speed this up to three times. And uh, now we pretty much just have to wait uh, for people to get infected so that we can go ahead and kill them. Uh, go ahead and get some points for the orange DNA bubble here. And uh, now we just want to build up points until we can go ahead and start uh, modifying our spread. Um, so first thing that I do want to go ahead and do, and uh, normally you don't want to do this early on, I was going to actually develop a symptom. Uh, but the first thing you definitely want to do is go ahead and unlock the Water 1 transmission. Uh, so that way it'll make it a lot easier for us to go ahead and spread the virus. Um, now once we get a few more points, uh, what I would actually advise is to go ahead and get the um, Heat Resistance 1. And uh, since we started in a hot country, uh, this will make it easier for our virus to spread to other hot countries. Now the good thing is we actually developed the coughing symptom early on. Now normally you would actually want to devolve these, but with the virus, since it's actually going to cost you DNA points to do, uh, we're going to go ahead and leave that one alone because that one's actually going to be helpful to us um, because it does uh, increase the infectivity of the virus. So the faster we can kill these people, the better. So we've got just a little over a thousand people infected in West Africa now, and uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do now is uh, activate another two transmissions. I want to go ahead and activate birds, and I want to go ahead and activate air one. Uh, reason for that is because uh, when you get the bird migration early on, uh, that usually does help you with um, your infectivity. Not only that, um, it will actually uh, cause another spread in the virus. Now we did go ahead and get insomnia, so that's going to make our infectivity a little bit better as well. And uh, the less symptoms we have early on, the better, uh, because then they're not likely to start actually uh, setting up a cure on us. Um, now uh, right here, uh, since we do have uh, the um, metabolic uh, jump, we are actually going to uh, be getting quite a few uh, DNA points uh, whenever we actually infect the new countries. Now, uh, we did go ahead and get nausea there. That's okay. Um, I don't really mind that one. Uh, it's not going to be um, too much of a problem early on. As long as they're harmless symptoms and uh, not symptoms where you know, we're killing people early on, uh, we should be okay. Uh, but one thing that I am actually going to go ahead and do is get the drug resistance one. Uh, reason for that is because if we do actually infect a uh, rich country, uh, we want to make it easier to actually infect them um, since the drugs aren't going to have as much resistance to us anymore. Uh, so a doctor did go ahead and find our virus, uh, but that's not too much of a problem. Uh, you know, it's not going to cause uh, too many issues. Um, so we just developed paranoia, uh, so that doesn't seem like too much of a problem. Now people are actually going to be going to the Olympics in the UK. Uh, since we did go ahead and get that drug resistance, um, we are actually going to be able to infect some people in that country, which is actually great uh, because it'll actually get us up here on the uh, European continent, and uh, that's actually going to help us out quite a bit uh, since we're pretty much focused down here on um, Africa. So uh, the more uh, symptoms that we actually get that increase our infectivity, the better. 
Uh, so that actually helps us out quite a bit. And uh, the more countries we infect, um, the more DNA points we're going to get because of our gene type. Um, so we pretty much covered all of Africa, almost. Uh, we only have a uh, few other areas left to cover. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do now is go ahead and activate um, the uh, next level of heat resistance and cold resistance. And uh, that way we can go ahead and get our infectivity up just a little bit more to these other countries. Um, so we did go ahead and infect America there, so that actually helps us out there. And we did get seizures. Now seizures, as far as I'm aware, is actually a um, symptom that is lethal. So what you do want to do is go ahead and devolve that real quick. Uh, reason being is we don't need any deaths early on. Uh, and the reason for that is because it will actually cause the uh, countries to panic and actually close down their borders, which we don't want them to do. We actually want them to stay open, uh, we don't want them to panic, and we don't want them to uh, rush to a cure and close their borders. Um, because specific countries such as Iceland and um, you know other areas like that, if they close their borders, you're screwed. You're not getting in there, and there's no way to infect the other people in those countries. Um, now, as you can see, I am actually having a bit of an issue uh, keeping up with the infections. Uh, seizures did come back, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one again. And uh, we're just going to sit back and chill right now and uh, watch what happens. And uh, we only killed 46 people. I did manage to uh, actually catch it in time, uh, so we didn't do too much damage. And um, they're only a few percent to the cure, uh, so we, we don't really have much to worry about at this time. Uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do now is go ahead and beef up our transmissions. Uh, we'll go ahead and get bugs, we'll get blood, we'll get rats, and we'll go ahead and get livestock. Uh, just to make sure that we can get in there a lot easier. And I'm also going to upgrade to Air 2. So that way we can actually infect some of these other countries a little bit easier. And uh, would you look at that? Uh, the infectivity actually went up, it went through the roof a little bit. Uh, now we have the rash symptom, so that's going to help our spread a little bit more. And uh, they're going to go ahead and start sending the planes out. So we're going to need to break these little glass vials uh, to try and prevent them from curing us too easily. And uh, Brazil decided that they were going to go ahead and try to turn off our spread just a little bit. But uh, little do they know, they've already got the virus, and they're already all infected. So um, they're not really doing much, are they? <laughs> <laughs> um, so what we want to do here is we actually want to go ahead and update some of our symptoms uh, just to go ahead and try to get our infectivity out a little bit better. Uh, so I am going to go ahead and drop inflammation off there. I'll go ahead and add cysts. Uh, I'll go ahead and add hemophilia. I'll add uh, abscesses. And I'll add the uh, hypersensitivity. And... Um, I'll go ahead and add uh, pneumonia, since that's not going to actually cause any lethality. Uh, remember, early on here, we do want to go ahead and avoid anything that's going to cause lethality. And uh, I'll go ahead and throw the uh, skin lesions on here as well, because that will actually get us over to uh, necrosis, uh, which when we do want to go lethal, uh, will actually help us out. Um, so now we got people with blood flora, uh, coming out of their skin. Uh, we have internal hemorrhaging, uh, which just said I did uh, pop up, which I uh, don't want that. Uh, remember, that we don't want to try to get our um, deadly ones uh, too early. So we'll go ahead and turn that one off. And um, hopefully we can actually go ahead and get Greenland, uh, because if we can get Greenland, uh, then we can uh, definitely go ahead and um, actually pretty much wipe out humanity because uh, that's one of the main ones that I'm actually focused on trying to get a hold of at this time and there we go we managed to get Greenland so this is awesome uh, so what we want to do now is go ahead and upgrade our um, resistance to all weather types and I'm actually going to upgrade uh, our drug resistance now I do see that we have a virus uh, something here that is actually uh, causing us to uh, kill people uh, so we want to find out what that is, and we want to get rid of it. Um, not exactly sure which one that is. Is it the... yeah, it's the seizures. So we're going to go ahead and knock that one out real quick. And um, everything should be fine. I mean, we can have a few deaths here and there. Um, but other than that, it looks like we're doing fine. Um, 
we're actually infecting uh, quite a few other countries, and we might actually, it looks like we're actually going to win this one, uh, because the uh, countries we're having an issue with infecting are actually getting infected quite nicely now. Uh, as you can see there, it looks like we're about to um, get the last countries um, infected with our deadly virus. So uh, once they are infected, uh, we can go ahead and start killing everyone. And there is our message to do so, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so let's go ahead and ramp up um, our deadliness, shall we? Uh, so let's go ahead and I say... Let's go ahead and start with some internal hemorrhaging. Uh, just to go ahead and get the uh, juices flowing, shall we? And uh, the more death we cause, uh, the better. So we did go ahead and develop hemorrhagic shock, which is another good one because that's actually really lethal. Uh, so that's actually going to help us with slowing the cure research down. Uh, so now we've got everybody pretty much just dying left and right. Uh, we did go ahead and get the tumors. So that's going to make our killing power a lot easier as well. And now what we're going to go ahead and do is... I want to be kind of a dick here. Uh, let's go ahead and ramp up our lethality. Let's go ahead and get some total organ failure. And that black bar just got a lot longer. Because everybody is about to be dead here in just a few moments. And um, I don't know why they're still sending planes out trying to get this cure going. Because you only have about 100 million people left in the world right about now. So, you're all about to be dead. And there's pretty much nothing they can do about this. So, yeah. Was a pretty successful virus, if I do say so myself. And the world is now destroyed. I love how they send out that last plane to try and get some help across. But sorry guys, you're all dead. And uh, we go ahead and unlock the gene type catalytic, uh, catalytic switch, which is great. And um, I hope you guys actually did enjoy the um, Plague Inc. Evolved video. I know a lot of you, a lot of you actually uh, clicked the like button and actually commented wanting to see more. So I delivered. And uh, if you want to see some more Plague Inc. and you want to go ahead and see some more new uh, Plague types, then uh, go ahead and click that like button, subscribe for more. And I will also be doing a RuneScape live stream uh, this Sunday. So do stay tuned for that. But other than that, guys, hope you did enjoy the video, and thanks for watching. Peace.